Okay, so. Um, Myth Pony said that she wanted to join in on the, uh, the stream party. Oh, yeah, why not? Yeah. Put her in. The hell was that? I heard it too. I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out what some of these sound effects are. <laughs> <laughs> it's a myth. Oh, hey, a is nipple. this the post show where I can talk about like fence posts and goal posts and online exactly. posts? Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Oh, awesome. <laughs> exactly. It's the best fun ever. <laughs> and like, like post like the mail. That's the postal service. Yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? I'll allow service. it. And Derpy delivers mail. Okay. Why do <laughs> what the one fuck? Oh, what? Gonna, what? Wait, I just tapped on one that was at a, in a popular slot on this thing. That's what it was. Postal show? What do you mean, postal show? Postal 2? That's a video game. Did I... Is it? Did I misspell post show? No, they're no. going off by postal service because of what Myth said. Oh. Alright then. Postal 2 was a weird game. But it was That's a fun. real game? Yeah, it is. <laughs> It was even a crappier it's a movie. You, it's a game where you go around murdering people in really creative and funny ways. Okay. Postal 2 is a game where you can chase somebody around with hedge clippers, lop both of their arms off, set them on fire, and then pee on them to put them out. So it's that kind of postal. Yeah. That 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 is where the fucking phrase going postal fucking came from, I believe. I, I either it either it was that or the phrase was already around and they just made a game around that concept. It was one of those two. What the hell did I just tap on? Falcon Punch. Show me Wait, your moves. You, have you never played Smash before? I didn't even I didn't even realize I tapped on something, that's all. I feel like my own phone is mocking me. <laughs> Welcome to my life. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, man, I feel like there. I'm going around the days of fucking D1. <laughs> Jesus I Christ. I don't fucking know. This, this soundboard is awesome. I hope this soundboard has the Wilhelm scream. Yeah, so somebody's been making a bit of fan art. Hmm? Oh, there oh. it is. <laughs> there it is. Did you see that picture in the stream chat? Did you see it? No, I haven't. Hang on, let me take a look. You just you... gotta scroll up a bit. Are you talking about the uh, the schoolgirl outfit? Yeah. <laughs> it's up a ways. Oh what? Oh wait, I'm in the wrong <laughs> section. God damn it. Someone commented way back in the beginning of the stream, um, I wonder if someone can make a picture of Golden wearing a schoolgirl outfit with a mini skirt. Oh. <laughs> Gee, like I wonder which one of us did that. It looks like fucking Sailor Moon. That's, that's, you know what, no, no, I, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna bother. I'm so curious. About Sailor Moon? No, about what Ellie was gonna say. Oh. I don't have a filter. Neither do I. Nor should we have filters. 
Yeah, what do I look like? A fucking water system to you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Merca, the free of the home and the land of the brave. This is America. America! The only thing that deserves a filter is Mega Agron, because filter is just a really funny ability. So should we just start taking shots every time he says Agron? Yes. I don't want to die. Poisoning, but you should do it. We would have alcohol poisoning within the 20 minutes. <laughs> who, who said a shot of alcohol? Then again, is anything as fun? I don't know. Uh, handguns. Yeah, I don't either. It's really fun to watch other people drink, though. You can always shoot guns. What? <laughs> what the hell? What? What the hell did you say, Chris? Did y'all hear him? No. No. He said it's not a good time unless both of us finish. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... He's not not disagreeing. Wrong. Yeah, really. <laughs> Seems pretty fucking simple to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, turnabout's fair play, is it not? Giggity. Very. <laughs> so much nope. Meanwhile, I'm being the most boring and actually knitting like an old granny. <laughs> Eh, what are you kids up to? I like to knit. <laughs> you kids, get off my lawn! You're you're deaf. Wait, who's deaf? Master code. <laughs> Blorp. Bleep blorp, I am a robot. Bleep blorp out of the chat. Okay. Oh. That happened, I guess. He's done that before. As long as it's not my fault, I don't care. <laughs> Understandable. How often is it your fault? Frequently. I need to go around more often. The truth might startle you. <laughs> Is that because the truth is scarring, or because I'm a myth? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I picked the best name. <laughs> Gotta catch them all! This soundboard is great. I like the Johto Journeys theme song. Yeah, but Jesse, plushies are kind of cool. No one ever goes to like a convention or like any other interesting place and says, hey, who did some knitting lately? Check out the knitting booth. Check out the knitting booth is going off, man. I heard they're almost sold out. No, that's all plushies. Plus, I don't think a lot of plushies actually get knit, so... It's it's possible, but it's I also mean, it just is. stupidly complicated. Yeah. Especially if you can just crochet. I'm gonna nod my head and pretend I know the difference between knitting and crocheting. Uh, with knitting, you use two very straight sticks to make a bunch of loops that are open at all times. With crochet, you use one less stupid, more maneuverable stick to manipulate one loop wherever you want it. So you can make three-dimensional things a lot more easily. Yeah. It's okay, I'll explain it about 50 times in the next two days. Okay, cool. <laughs> Or never again. <clears throat> Wheels of Steel, I don't exist. That's the whole point. That's the joke. That's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> D 
do 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 do. They're hoping to dissuade me by telling me that I have to open 100 chests, but little do they know I played the first game. 100 chests is nothing. Okay, that was incomplete. I really want to make a joke about what Chris said. The last thing you said that he repeated. I mean, I'm not going to stop you. I think I waited too long. I discovered the secret to making really good fruit smoothies is actually just putting whipped cream in the things. Really? There's no reason not to. Well, what about the reason that someone doesn't really like whipped cream? Well, how about the reason that somebody's a fucking heretic? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, you go ahead and drink your creamy fruits, then. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, God forbid that... anybody else touches it, because he'll come in asking I mean, who like, is fruit. Because here's the thing. <laughs> Yesterday, when I tried making a fucking smoothie, I realized, oh, wow, these are nowhere near as sweet as they are when I fucking try them in a fucking store. And I realized, yeah, strawberries are actually kind of sour, like really sour. So I had to put a banana in there to counteract all the sour, and I realized, oh, this is why strawberry banana is so fucking popular. But then I realized, wait, what if I put something else in there to sweeten it up? So I took, like, half a fucking tub of whipped cream and threw that shit in there, and mmm, that shit was tasty. I used lemonade. But, we have this... <laughs> what? I mean, if you're going what for, like, a pink God lemonade damn, smoothie, that's, that actually sounds really good. Okay. I was going to say, yeah, for, for smoothies, I like putting in lemonade to make it a little sweeter. But we have this dessert in my family we call strawberry fluff. That's basically, I forget what the third thing is. I think cream cheese. Basically just cream cheese, a whole lot of whipped cream, and strawberries. Like really juicy, frozen, and then thawed out. And then you put sugar on it to make them really juice up strawberries. Oh, fuck it's yeah. It's the best dessert. Strawberries and cream is just really, really fucking simple and good. Oh, There's... and you put it on a graham cracker crust. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. my. Mm -hmm. Do you two need to be alone? Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll make it for you sometime. Okay. <laughs> As you've no doubt heard, I am also known to tear up the kitchen pretty Chris, nicely. Chris, my I keep on hearing tiny. these out-of-context sentences from you. <laughs> Those are the best kind of sentences. Yeah, really. I put a dick in the ass, doesn't make me gay. <laughs> that that, that kind of does. That's kind of like, that's kind of like the textbook definition, unless there is some really really weird context behind it. Yeah, we touch dicks. Doesn't make us gay. <sighs> My husband is the best human being ever. Aww. At this point, yeah. Good. <laughs> So I finally saw the trailer for Lady in the Tramp while I was in the bathroom. Interesting. Interesting um, place to see it, but okay. I mean, I feel I feel like it's shit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it, it like it, it doesn't look like the worst thing in the world, but it definitely looks like one of those generic um, those generic dog movies you see that are like rated PG. Like, oh, this is for kids. Like, it, it looks like one of those. On the mm -hmm. other hand, I did see the trailer for The Mandalorian. And Pockets of Silence. Yeah. I think my Discord glitched. I heard the Mandalorian? Mandalorian. Oh. Mandalorian. Star okay. Wars Mandalorian. I'm going to go back to Silence. Boba Fett. Yeah. I'm, I'm up for that. Honestly, I feel like I feel like uh, Solo got a lot of unnecessary hate. Like, I didn't think it was fucking that great, but I didn't think it was terrible. But people say, like, oh, Solo's a fucking super shitty movie. Like, no, it was a resounding meh. 
at the most because I... let's face it, it it's it's a movie about han solo you already know who's gonna survive who's not gonna survive what's gonna happen like in the context like what's gonna happen to the millennium falcon yada yada so it's like there's no stakes yeah there's not really any stakes I mean, but that's the thing is that, like, I understood that there probably weren't going to be a whole lot of stakes going into the movie. So I took that into account. I was like, eh, yeah, no, I got some enjoyment out of it. Fair. Yeah. Also, the SJW robot died, and that was funny. <sighs> you know, I part of me, like, I've been receiving, like, uh, news that... Well, rumors that because of how angry a lot of people were about The Last Jedi, they were purposely trying not to um, see the Solo movie to try to, like, create an attack at Disney or some shit. I, I didn't think Solo was bad. I, I did think... I mean... Like, I thought The Last Jedi was also okay, and then I looked back on it. Like, I thought it was okay at first, and then I looked back and I'm like, wow, there are some really gaping plot holes in this fucking movie. Holy shit. What's what you gonna do? The thing that irritates me about that is that, okay, despite the overreaction, if that's really the case, they're focusing too much on one franchise when there's much bigger things to worry about. You're wasting your time over a beloved title of a franchise, which, yeah, it's been around for 40 years, and it's become an impact when it first started, but that shouldn't be your priority in life. It really shouldn't. Yeah. And you mean but to tell, that... like, you mean to tell me that you'll focus trying to get that to bomb, but you won't bother trying to do something like that to the Disney remakes? The audience can have the power, and this is gonna like, this is gonna probably throw in a butt, like, throw me into like a shithole. I really, but... but a lot of Star Wars fans are way too overreactive. Mm, yeah, no. I, no, I, I, I agree. agree. Yeah, I, absolutely. Like, like, how is that a shithole? Because, okay, because I'm throwing shit at them like, oh, you're going to focus on trying to justify the treatment of Star Wars, but you're not going to justify the treatment of a type of, uh, like, Disney in general, which has been around longer than Star Wars and has a much greater historical impact with remakes overshadowing a lot of these 2D animated movies you care more about Star Wars. And just the very fact that you're focusing so much on that, what do you expect to gain out of it? Why don't you do something much more productive with your life? You know, as upset as I am with 2D animation and how melodramatic I am with my YouTube videos, at least I try to make it entertaining. But if you're going as far as to try to throw shit at, like... Look, if you don't like the movie, you don't like the movie. It's as simple as that. But if you're trying to create some kind of... What is the term? I don't know. I, I mean, Not if you're sure going to try to scheme for. audiences into trying to take control back, which they can do. Manipulate? It just, yeah, boycott. Like, if you're going to if you're gonna try doing that, I'm sorry, but you need to do something with your life. Fun um, thing about a lot of fans of 2D animation, um, a lot of them have migrated over to anime because anime is really one of the places where you can still see 2D animation as mainstream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, I don't disagree with that because, I mean, it's true. If you look at a lot of popular anime that are out right now, a lot of them are in 2D and they're animated really fucking good. You know, it's ridiculous. So I recently saw... Uh, an anime that I watched the last couple of seasons of and kind of enjoyed it for absolutely no reason because I really don't get the premise. It's suddenly... What anime? A, uh, Kagegurui, something like that. It's the gambling school one. Oh. It, it suddenly has a live action version. I'm like, when the hell did this happen? You'd be surprised at the number of animes that have a live action version. Like one live the, action Jojo. One of the great things about this one is that like it, it gets in these really tense moments where the people are gambling and they get ridiculous expressions on their faces of all their stress and like excitement and everything. And it's like, you can't do that in live action. That's the Unless thing. it just looks stupid. That's, I mean, that's generally 
a thing that a lot of people like about 2D animation is that mm -hmm. you can make expressions really, really fucking wacky if you want to. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> Remake of Lion King, take notes. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> Scar goes from an actual villain to a kitty cat batting at another kitty cat. And the thing that's sad right. about the remake is that it made so much money, it's one of the highest grossing films of this year. Well, people had to go see it. People, like, they, hey, I heard there's a shit show. I want to see it. I wanted to see the dumpster fire, so here I am. You know what? I can't really hold anything against that. Like, I didn't I was... see it. Just, just so we're clear, I didn't like watch I was... it. <laughs> I was saying, I'm going to go see it out of curiosity, but then you came in and you're like, nope, don't waste your money. Here's what it is. Yeah, no, there's oh, even a... Okay. Um... <laughs> I mean, like, that's that That was my thing, is like, it's a remake of the original movie, right? Well, I've seen the original movie, so why do I want to see it again? Yeah, it's the same, that's the same thing with Beating the Beast. Like, why would you want to go, uh -huh. like... Well, uh oh I, like I touched that notes. One. That one had some stuff that the original didn't. Yeah, like, Evermore. Why? Evermore, oh my god, I started crying when I watched that in theaters. No, I didn't mean that in a good way. I liked it because I like sad shit. And sad shit's popular nowadays. It reflected a personal sad story, anyway. I see, that's <laughs> different. That is different. I like I'm sorry, movies. all I heard was auto bad auto-tune singing and pretentious lyrics. Okay. That is fair. But I kind of like how they developed on the Beast's past, at least. <sighs> okay. At the very least, with the Lion King remake, there is a moment where Nala does escape the Pride Lands. That is something I did legit complain about when I reviewed the animated movie. But, um... Beyonce as Nala was garbage. Hmm. Yeah. And I'm not just talking about, you know, the acting. I mean, the dialogue, the way she was given treatment. I'll tell you this much. In the animated, when she finds Simba, there are moments where she's so shocked at seeing Simba again. And she's mm -hmm. processing and she thought that he was dead. There's legit moments that actually take into effect. And she's trying to be so, like, desperate to get some sense into Simba that the Pride Lands is in danger. Here's how the, uh, the quote-unquote live action did it. You need to go back, Simba. No, I can't. You disappoint me. And she just walks away. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They, they took all the emotional parts out of it? They trimmed it down so much. Okay, so it's like, as soon as Nala meets Simba, you should stay here. The Pratlins is a danger. We'll just live here. Here, I'll show you around. Can you feel the love today? You need to go back. No, I, I, I can't. I right, find you disappoint me. And that's it. They skimmed through so much of it. Wow. Jesus. It's like Aragon all over again. This thing they <laughs> could even get me started on the Aragon. Movies. Oh, that movie those can movies. go fuck off. I, those I loved that book. I, I read the, the book. entire series. I loved it to pieces. And then the movie cut like 75% of it. It's like they were going for a record. It's like, how much stuff can we get rid of it's in like, the fucking movie adaptation? Yeah, no, this is like this is like the last airbender before the last airbender. Mm. That took out like 90% oh. of the first season. Like, well, they kept out they important up. characters, they rewrote important fucking deaths, they fucking rewrote entire important characters' backstories. Well, because, the mistake they made with Last Airbender was trying to fit an entire season into a six. Which mm -hmm. wasn't gonna work. Like, if you're at least gonna do that, try to make it like three hours, because there's so much detail. Yeah. And fucking Shyamalan thinks, oh, I don't need to do that. Yes, you do, motherfucker! Boy, you're cramming several hours worth of information. If you have to take stuff out, you can take stuff out, but at least make it coherent. And if you're going to do something like several hours worth of information, you have to kind of make it long to make your script coherent. Good lord. I mean, yeah, even okay, Harry I'm... even the Harry Potter movies do a better job, and people complain about pages being ripped out of that one. Yeah. I mean, to be fair with Harry Potter, the books. <laughs> look at the books; they're the pretty books fucking. They're, they're yeah. pretty fucking thick. If you try right, to you, cram you, everything in there, you're you're asking for like twenty hours worth. It's 
fucking you, like hell. like you're gonna have the same problem that fucking Lord of the Rings extended edition had, where it was like four and a half fucking <laughs> hours. <laughs> no, you don't understand because I had a I I have I have a little brother. He, he's obviously he's about my age now. But when we were fucking kids, we rented fucking. Our mom let us, you know, rent movies from the Blockbuster because those were a thing back then. Mm -hmm. And fucking, oh, he wanted no. Blockbuster. He rented fucking Lord of the Rings: Return of the King, the fucking little extended director's cut, whatever the fuck. And I rented Iron Man because I liked fucking Marvel. Sue me. <laughs> okay. Uh, no judgment. Yeah. yeah. No fucking. His shit was four and a half hours, and he watched it daily. And if I wanted to watch my movie, I had to sit through his and wait for him to be done before I could put in my <laughs> shitty one hour, one and a half hour movie. Four and a half hours. Compared it to a two so hours. Big, it came on two fucking discs. All right. I remember that. If you hit a fucking point in the movie where it says, please fucking insert the next disc to continue like a fucking PS1 game, it's too goddamn long. Holy <laughs> shit. Four and a half hours out of a 24-hour day. That means if I wanted to fucking watch my movie, I had to wait fucking... F I, I had to, I, I, I'd essentially five hours would have passed by the time I was done watching my fucking movie. It was like that. That's... Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. The, the only saving grace was the fact that since it was on fucking DVD, I could just, you know, play fucking video games while he was watching it. And then once he was done, I would boot him off. But fuck, four and one half out. Like, who greenlit that? Who looked at that and said, <laughs> yes, this is an acceptable time frame to run inside your domicily? <laughs> you okay there, babe? Uh, here you go. No more comments about putting your dick in weird places? Oh my god. <laughs> I do that. Uh, it's funny. If I had one, I would do that. It seems funny. You said you're about to go to bed. Yeah, I think I'm about to bounce off too. My throat is still bothering me. Okay. Okay. I'll I had a really fucking snappy comeback, but I avoided it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll see y'all. All right. <sighs> what do you guys normally do in post show? Uh, we just uh, sit around bullshit. and chat. It's really just like it's just winding down, and we just chat for just a bit until things kind of cool off. All you do in post show is bullshit about random bullshit. That's yeah. That's that's the point. And there's going to be a little bit of that during tomorrow, but there's a couple of topics that we'll, um, we'll be talking bullshit about. <laughs> oh, it's tomorrow the podcast? Mm-hmm. Oh, for some reason I had that in my head as being Sunday. No, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be on Saturday. It's going to be noon my time. Um, Today is Sunday! Hey, it's Sunday somewhere, right? Yeah. Yeah. But no, uh, let in the chat know, yeah, uh, tomorrow I'm actually going to start my uh, podcast this time. Yesterday I was beyond unprepared, but I got a couple of people um, set for the podcast. Uh, hopefully it'll go very well. I hope it goes uh, pretty well. Um, I'm confident about it. I'm excited to try it out. I just hope that it doesn't turn into a shit show. You know, that's always that worry. That's that's a valid worry. Yeah. Um but Solar, I got a thing or two that might interest you in it. What do you got? Top Gun Maverick. Mm. Yep. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... Let's see. Oh, so Golden, not sure if you saw this, but when mentioned Stalker since it's King I meant the game series Stalker, which is notoriously difficult and only beatable with a lot of quick saving if you want to keep saving your sanity. Okay. 
Oh, when he was saying that, I figured there was some Pokemon called Stalker that was obscure and I hadn't heard of it. <laughs> no, no, Stalker is a fucking, it's a Russian video game series about exploring the wasteland of Chernobyl after the fucking meltdown. So there's shit like fucking mutated animals and fucking, like, fucking gangs and shit out there. And uh, the people that you play at, like, the person that you play as is what's known as a stalker, which is basically, like, he stalks the wasteland to survive, so... That's kind of what it's about. Hmm. I, it's it's also it's also notorious for being very very heavily fucking he heavily unfinished. So there, but the thing is, apparently, a lot of people enjoyed it so much that people have made dedicated mods built to di built to fixing certain part of the games that don't typically work. So, because okay, apparently. That's interesting. Because apparently it has a really good story. I mean, I've played some of it. I, I haven't really gotten that deep into the story because, uh, surprise, surprise, the, the unfinished game is... Uh, uh, I was trying to finish one of the quests and I couldn't do it because the the AI was bugged. And no matter how many times like I restarted the game or quick saved or shit, he would just always go to the same spot, which would be running into a corner for like God knows how long before I just reset. So, yeah. God, I hate when you can't finish something in a game. Yeah. That's like, um, in Skyrim, what's that one? That goddess of light, she hates the undead. You have to clear out her temple. Meridia? I think so. I don't remember fucking Skyrim Mer deities. Meridia's beacon is so. I only have one playthrough. It's my current playthrough where she is bugged. I don't know why I said playthrough. Anyway. She's bugged. So I finished the quest. She lifts me way up in the air to tell me, oh, you finished the quest. Here's your thing. And then drops you. And the drop is supposed to be just a cutscene, And then you just appear on the ground. No, mine is bugged. So she literally drops you from like a mile in the sky and you die. Hmm. It's like, J thanks. Thank you so much. Now I got to reload to before I finish the boss fight. Isn't there a spell for fucking slow falling in Skyrim? I think there is, but it's also I'm... a moment because it's a cut scene, you're not supposed to be able to do anything. So you're in a conversation and can't do anything, and then she drops you and you can't do anything. It's like freaking great. This is why I love playing on PC where I can just fucking do ridiculous shit like <laughs> Oh yes, I'm going to set my health to like 4 million <laughs> so no fall damage can kill me. I so, don't know how to do that. You don't know how to use the console in Skyrim? No, not really. Oh. 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 You poor child. Honey, you'd be I'll, amazed by the things I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll have to educate you at some point. Well, until then, um, I'm going to go ahead and end the uh, stream here. So thank you for anybody else who was around at the very end. Um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow when I start my uh, podcast for the first time. I hope it turns out well. And uh, stay tuned for next Friday when I, fingers crossed, finish Pokemon. And yes, I will grind all the Pokemon that I have. So I'll be catching you guys another time. So kaboom. Catch you on the flip side. Yep. <laughs>